What's up, you guys? We sustaining and gaining high value men and women in training. Yeah, I've been working on it. You know, whatever. Man, so listen, this here is the OG AMS, man. Let's look at let's listen to it, you guys. This is this is when he was just starting off. Man, and I'll tell you guys, man, he helped me out a lot too. I was uh going through a lot of stuff, man, and um I was there. I was I was there watching and listening and you know, um let's go back to the originals. Let's see what's what's good. What's up, people? So today I'm going to teach you how to get a woman crazy obsessed with you. Now, guys, before I even fucking start... This is when AMS was speaking low. This video you know. here is pure evil. You understand <laughs> what I'm saying? This is a pure evil video. Pure evil, If huh? you use this shit, you're an evil person. But we don't love them hoes, so let's talk about it. <laughs> Look at right. You can tell you he was it. tired, though, man. He was really putting First in them hours around this time. Is, Three years ago. You have to, if you go back and watch all my videos, the first thing you need to know is you got to have the ultimate confidence. Understand what I'm saying? The ultimate swagger. Now, if you don't got that, you can't get to the obsessed part. And what I say, the only way you're going to get to that swagger part is by being on your purpose and feeling great about yourself. That's why all that confidence and swagger gonna come from. It ain't gonna just come from the thin air, despite what you've been fucking told. I'm telling you it ain't. It comes from the self-improvement, hitting the gym, and getting your shit together. That's gonna give you the confidence to make you feel like you have options, which gives you the confidence to not take a warm shit, which is gonna come across as confident. You understand what I'm saying? So when she go to doing her fucking test, you got the fucking balls to stand up to her because you feel like, hey, I look good, I'm doing good for myself, I'm not gonna take your shit. Right? You know what's crazy is that like, like he's, he's, he's true about that. I remember when I was in high school, I was playing football, I was on a football team and stuff like that, you know. Um, and it was, it was, it was, I was in great shape. I was in the best shape of my life. I'm, I'm currently surpassing that right now as we speak, but like, Girls came so easy, and I wasn't even really thinking about them like that. Like I just was, I was just like casually flirting around, and, and, and dudes would always come to me like, "Where the hoes at? Where the girls at? Where the girls at? Man, you got all the hoes." Cause the girls would love me, you know. They would always talk to me, I would always hug them. They would hug me, hey Robert, just grab my ass and shit, man, girl. Yeah. And it's like that that confidence that I had, I didn't even know it came from like me being on my purpose and shit like all I all I was focused on was wanting to be the best in football like being the best in my position at the time and it was like you know I, I got so engrossed in it that like I got I got obsessed with it and, and girls would ask me for my jersey you know you remember that time when people when people would want to wear jerseys you would get jerseys out and stuff like that like it's 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 true people would be obsessed with you man and this this girl um ended up coming to my my house man like she was crying and we got her inside, you know, to get past my mama and stuff like that. She was just crying. And, and I've come to find out that she just wanted to have sex, like, right then and there. And I was like, what the hell? And I stopped talking to her type shit. I didn't want to do it because she was, like, the school school thought, you know what I'm saying? And, like, you know, yada, 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 whatever. I was probably scared of it, but whatever, whatever, whatever. And, um, you know, she just kept, like, fucking with me for a while. And then, you know, until I, I quit football and then it just went sour, man. She just totally went the opposite direction to me. And it's just crazy. So, you know, he's he's, he's right. He's, it's true, man. You can't approach no girl like, hey, um, can you're cute. Uh, can I have your number? Like, we can maybe talk about our feelings. Uh, no. You know what I'm saying? So. You met her looks standard and all this all the attraction you gotta have the confidence on swag the confidence gotta be swag you gotta feel like i can replace this bitch at any time confidence on swag all right don't then happen without that that's gotta be number one all right first thing you need to know guys is no matter who you are unless you're a rich celebrity or something the average man gonna have to do all the pursuing in the beginning unless a woman has crazy high initial interest i'm talking at least 80 percent Unless she, uh, she has You can tell, look at his eyes, man. He done been through this shit. He done done this shit so many damn times. It's crazy. By that, 
and to know how far you got to the go thing is the from our you ladies watching this is that it's weeks, it's different it's you you don't have to go hunt for for girls for sexual interest and shit like that it's different as a guy you have to do it it's hard to approach with somebody there's you know there's always that threat you never know what's gonna happen you know so, so the person that actually approaches a woman, try to do that. Try to do it as a, as a girl, you know? Someone that you really like. Someone you think is attractive. You know what I'm saying? You can get rejected. It's, it's tough. It's tough. You gonna need to know that most of uh, most men gonna have to do all the pursuing at the very beginning. Probably the first two weeks. Sometimes three. Alright? But this is the big problem Texting, where a lot of calling, guys fuck up at. Pursuing. See what you're saying? Guys, they back off way too fucking soon. Alright, so if a woman, if you were texting a woman once a week to go out on a date, and say by the second week or the third week, she starts hitting you up once a week, and then you feel like, okay, I can back all the way off now. She's pursuing you. It don't go that way, guys. Mm. Pursuing is like a, a dimmer switch, not on and off. Persistence so breaks you resistance. So slowly back away. So the dynamics go like this. You're doing 100%. She's doing 0%. You, she, hers comes up like this right here. And then you come down to once a week, and hers steady comes up. So you always do once a week, no matter what. And hers increase. Yours don't don't change. See, you guys, it, uh, for the girls, week, actually, it's not it's, necessarily you know, a strategy as much as it's it, it's like it's control because a lot of guys, especially guys that aren't you know haven't been around a lot of women in a, in a sexual kind of way, um, they get real giddy. They they get real excited you know and it's like he's trying to help out some of the guys out there that don't have a lot of like sexual experience or even experience in general just like dealing with girls that they like or that they have sexual interest with you you'd be surprised at how many virgins or or uh low sexual experience a lot of guys are that they have out here so what he's trying to teach is some self-control some some you know you ain't gotta get so giddy like a like I can imagine as a girl, like, I wouldn't want a guy texting me 24-7, hey, what you doing? What you doing now? What you doing today? What you doing now? Hey, and then and then 3 o'clock, hey, what you eat for lunch? And then 5 o'clock comes, hey, how are you driving? Be careful in traffic. And then 7 o'clock comes, did you make it home? You didn't text me when you got home? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit, that gets annoying to anybody. And it's like a lot of guys don't know that, you know? And it's like, they do say men and women evolve, like, like mature differently it's not necessarily that as much as women are more social like think about it when we was in school at recess what would happen the guys would be playing basketball tetherball tag whatever girls would be sitting around gossiping and talking now that happens all the way up like forever you know girls are talking they talk about all the types of things that they go through and shit like that they're more socially and emotionally intelligent than a than a lot of guys it's not necessarily maturity as much as it's social maturity it's just an incomplete sentence when people say girls are more mature than men they mature faster it's an incomplete sentence and i want you guys to remember that because once girls hit 18 20 most of the time they just stop they stop maturing at that age you guys so don't ever don't don't let that stuff happen don't 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 let you don't let that shit fool you it's 100 percent because she ain't gonna uh, chase you at all but as her interest raises she you gonna stay here once a week and hers gonna start to come up to where she's eventually going to be pursuing you every fucking day all right she's gonna be calling to check on you every fucking day now once it gets to a hundred percent that's when you back off. When she starts doing a hitting you up every day, that's when you back off. Don't back off until she's hitting you up every day. Up to that point, damn. So you I, make I should sure you, you hit her basically up once a week. like, and if you back off too soon, no. before the woman has developed an attachment to you, an emotional attachment to you, she'll just back up or lose interest. Understand what I'm saying? You this is some manipulative shit, man. If you really can you understand what he's saying, she has and, and like, at 100%. yo, so you can't stop. Uh, texting her or calling her once a week until she's hitting you up every fucking day. If you back off before then, that's way too soon. Now, guys, it was once upon a time where if you had sex with a woman, this is worth it. Yeah. That was but all yeah, the, the, yeah, the, the emotional shit. investment you needed from a woman to get her to pursue you because she felt like, hey, I gave this dude my body, so she felt like she was invested to get more, get a relationship. 
It's 2018, guys. That shit don't hold true no more. A woman will fuck you. You hit her up next week, and she don't want to see you no more because you didn't make her come. You understand what I'm saying? So that the sex... Uh, it's cr- it's crazy. Don't work no more. It's cruel, cruel so what you world, gotta y'all. Get a woman doing these you gotta learn how to make them. You gotta, them, you gotta learn how to be good in bed, y'all. To chasing your validation. Serious. Serious out here in these streets. In these you know, streets. I talk a lot about validation. I want, and so I want to talk about validation right now. The reason a woman wants your validation is because essentially you're not giving her validation. Hold on, hold on. I, I actually do want to talk about that, you know. Uh, Girls will do that. I've I've had experiences like that, you know, like a girl literally just do one night stand with you, don't even want to see you ever again on some type of shit, you know, it's crazy. Like, um, and for me growing up like that, like I never knew that. You know, my mom told me like girls will have sex with they had they're more emotional and it's 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 not to say that girls aren't, but guys are as well. She didn't she it was an incomplete sentence. A lot of people give you incomplete advice and it's like you gotta take the time on your own time to fill in the missing sentences and missing and the omitted information that people give to you, you know? So it's like, you know, this, this happens. It may not have happened as much with girls back in the day, but listen, we're 2021 nowadays, you guys, it's a different dating scene. Crazy. Never feeling good enough. You understand what I'm saying? And that has nothing to do with you. That has everything to do with her. That's her ego. Won't let it be. You know what I'm saying? That has nothing to do with you. That's her ego. Don't want to accept the defeat. Mm. See, most women date these beta true? males who worship the ground they work, walk on. To when they run into yep, a dude that makes them feel lower, it can't be and they can't take it. And they're determined to get your validation. You understand what I'm saying? They it, they can't stand to lose one. So she's not obsessed Gotta with chasing you. She's obs- obsessed with chasing that validation. She's obsessed with the fact this guy ain't finna act like I'm beneath him. You understand what I'm saying? So it has nothing to do with you. It's, it's not thinking that they believe beneath them. Your validation. And that's why I tell you guys to never give it to them. And all and for any new subscribers that don't know what validation is, validation is compliments, wanting to spend a lot of time with her, talking to her a long time on the phone. All these are saying, I really like you. That's what every woman, women have no self-esteem, guys. I know when you see them outside with that mask on and they got... <laughs> see, that's not true, though. Like a lot of girls crazy. don't they have really high self-esteem. self-esteem that's why but... they need attention from men constantly to feel good about themselves because they have very low self-esteem. So when they're dating a guy and he won't get them a compliment or he won't get them no signs that he's really into them, it really fucks with their head and their psyche. And so they can't take that. Um, They can't take that. They need every fucking guy... To like them, they can't stand it. What he's talking about is a neg hit, like you guys. Them. So it's flirting. Now, it's so what he's talking about. It's let's flirting. Say you don't switch the tables. You like, got her doing one hundred. Like you don't want to sit here all the time just complimenting anybody. You don't. I I don't know about you guys, but like, I like I you know I hey I love everybody, but like big girl. There, there, there's been many many times where like a like big girls would like flirt with me. Tell me that they interested. Tell me that they want me and shit like that. You guys like all the time. Like oh you so fine. You so sexy. You so cute. And it like, typically it would, it would, you know, that's a good compliment. You know what I'm saying? You want to take it. It just doesn't feel right when it's coming from, you know, someone you're not like attracted to. You know what I'm saying? It feels a little, what's the word? Creepy-ish, you know? And and creepy just means that she's just not attracted to you. Because the same thing that you did to that girl, she labeled as creepy. Another guy can do the exact same thing and it not be labeled creepy. Reason why I know that is because I would be able to get away with certain things. I would be able to see other guys get the cold shoulder, get the cold eye, they would get some snarky remarks, and then here I come, I do some shit. And I've also been on the opposite end, too. I would do some shit, get backlash for it, somebody else do the exact same thing, and they're like, oh my god. You know what I'm saying? So, um, it's it's true, you guys. You gotta you gotta learn how to flirt. Flirt. Flirting is being, is, is, is uh, it's, it's just fun back and forth, you know? Like, <laughs> You know, that, that dress looks, you know, it's, it's not bad today, you know. Uh, it's not bad today, you know. Yesterday, you could have been a little bit better, but I see you stepped it up today. I like that. Like, you know, or, um, okay, all right, that's a, I see you trying some new food today, huh. Actually, actually stepping out of your comfort zone today. Wow, got to give you a little cookie after this, huh. You know what I'm saying? Like, little things like that, that's cute. It's, it's fun. It's playful. You got to be playful, you guys. Percent of the pursuing now, all right. This takes time, guys. This is going to take at least two to three months. You guys back off way too fucking soon. This is not going to happen overnight. You got to wait 
till she develops an emotional attachment to chasing your validation. This is going to take probably two to three months, probably closer to three with the savages we're dealing with today. These fucking girls are fucking wolverines. Their, they body count high as hell. So if you're thinking like, oh, I fucked her real good, she's going to be attached to me, you better think again. All right? Because these girls be got body count as high as fuck these days. Now, now that you got her doing 100% because you making her feel like she's, she's starting to feel like she's losing you, you understand what I'm saying? So you didn't. I'm not a bit, I'm not a fan of how body counts. I'm just, other way. just saying. Yeah. All right. I, like, now you're going the other way. I didn't want to touch on it, but now. she's not obsessed I'm, with you. I don't like, she's I don't only like obsessed with getting that fucking validation. She needs that fucking damn it, give it to me. Give me that fucking validation, goddammit. She's <laughs> obsessed with getting that fucking validation. You gonna validate me, goddammit. That's what she thinks. But so now you finna go the other way. Now, the secret to getting her really obsessed with you is now you gotta go. You, you finna be real evil now. You finna tear her self-esteem down. You understand what I'm saying? You finna not make her feel no. like she's not worthy Bullying. of you. Understand what I'm saying? Mm. So now, you now I don't set know a about time that. to see her. So say Saturday, well, let me you'll set you a time to see her. Okay. And Friday, you'll counsel like, hey, I can't do that. My, um, I'm going out with my Man, friend. Man, that's playing with people. You, I don't know if any of you guys know what that does to a woman. You, you When you do some shit like that, you make her feel worthless. You make her feel like she's no no nothing like a priority to you. You understand what I'm saying? But it's only gonna make her chase you more. See, now, this guys, works with people that you like this, barely this right meet, up. that you understand don't know, that and that you don't necessarily really want to be serious. When a with. woman is with you, your personality is on point, your confidence on point, your swagger is on point. This shit don't work if when she's around you, she's not having a good time. You understand what I'm saying? Like you're a pain in the ass. You gotta be in your sexy, suave mood. To make her feel like mm. a real woman, to make her feel real feminine. So you got to be extra masculine. You got to be a man's man. You know what I'm saying? You got to be super swag. So when she's around you, she gets that tingling inside her. No woman is going to go through all this Ooh. bullshit for a guy that's just okay. Understand what I'm saying? Your personality got to be on point. The way she feel when she with you got to be on fucking point. Ain't nobody finna call you all the time and let you flake on them and do all this bullshit. And when they get with you, they ain't having a good time. And I don't, when I say having a good time, I'm not talking about expensive dates. I'm talking about we just sitting on the couch and just the way you carry yourself makes my pussy tingle. You understand what I'm saying? There's just the way you make me feel when I'm with you. You understand what I'm saying? If, if you give her that certain tingle, She'll keep chasing your fucking validation. And see, you just and see it, what he's talking about, you guys, like, it's, it's more to it than just smoking, drinking, getting high, watching TV, shit like that. You know, it's it's like, you learn how to do different things, you guys. Learn to read some books or some shit. Learn some different things, man. Get some board games or some shit. Talk, get some cards, like, um... Man, like, I, there's there's these cards out there. There's a bunch of cards that have questions on them and stuff. You guys can ask questions. You guys can go on a walk, you know, skip some rocks or some shit. You guys think it sounds lame and shit like that, but you know what's really lame? Sitting in the house every fucking day, going to a bar, going out to eat every fucking day, not doing anything new, the same shit all the time. Switch it up, man. Girls are like big-ass kids. They love to have little adventures and stuff like that, you guys. And plus, it's fun, man. You As, 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 a, as an as an adult one thing you don't want to be is a hardened rock solid like work purpose gym woman me 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 libido me sex time like you don't want to do that shit all the time it's boring bro you a robot like nobody like that shit man you gotta do some new stuff get get a get a get a get some roller skates you know what i'm saying get a bike fucking pick up youtube Take a wine class with her. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, I've done so many. Go to an aquarium. You know, I've done so many different things, you guys. Like, it's it works wonders. Go to a gun range with her, you know? Happen. So you're going to have to have that person. That gets that feeling, swag. that you tingling. You're have to have your confidence on swag. On if swag not, mode. It won't work. Ain't no woman finna go through all this bullshit for a guy she barely like. You understand what I'm saying? The only way it works is if you make her pussy tingle. Physically and mentally. You got to stimulate her mind and her fucking pussy. You understand what I'm saying? And make sure she come by doing the fucking foreplay I told you. Most women cannot come with your damn dick. You got to make her come with foreplay. So if you're making her come in the bedroom and you're making her come yeah, in the mind, how to, like they say, how to, how got to do pussy, some other things out there. You know what I'm saying? If you're making her come with both of those mentally and between her legs, she'll stay chasing your validation. If you ain't fucking her right and then you ain't stimulating her mind, 
Ain't no woman finna keep pursuing your ass. Fuck your validation. You understand? All right, so like I said, so like I said, you'll cancel the date. Say, hey, I got to hang out with my friends. I can't see you this weekend. All cancel right? the date. You'll say uh, some shit like that. You'll skip weeks seeing her. Like you want, you'll I want to do girls this weekend. Edition. I got something I else to do. I bet they do. All this makes I'm her feel sure like she's not good enough. He said he She'll got his, his techniques from girls. Though. You don't even return the call or text. Damn, she'll hit you up maybe the next day or the day after and she'll be like, Hey, you ain't you ain't never you ain't see my call? Just say I was busy doing something like that. Don't you know, don't get I'm not good at lying like that. I was gonna get around to calling, but essentially guys, you're making her feel worthless. You're making her feel like she's unimportant. <laughs> this dude. All this is tearing her this self-esteem dude, down. Man. Which I said guys, is is really evil, but like I told you, we don't love them hoes. So it's really evil, but you gotta so you don't went from here a hundred percent pursuing to now she's doing 100% pursuing, and on top of that, you're tearing her self-esteem, um, self-esteem down. All right? Now, if you just casually date, this when this shit work. Purple well, pill stuff, nah, it don't that, work like that. You know, do the, the, the structure. You, I mean, you have to tone it days, down a lot, she's a gonna little look and say, bit. Man, you know I, mean? I call him all the time. He never calls me. And at some point, she at times, she going to pull back, and you might not hear from her two, three, four days. She going to do it. She going to do it because in her head, she's like, hey, I'm doing all the pursuing. This is not right. He does nothing. You got to be on your purpose and really not give a fuck about that bitch. Now, if deep down you really care, you you can't hold true on this. This only holds true if you really focus on your purpose and you don't give a fuck if she ever called back or not. Because please believe it's going to be weeks in there where she, she's not going to pursue you. She, you know, because she, she's determined to make you start at least contribute to some of the pursuing. You don't do it. You wait till she call or text you. All right? So like I said, guys, how you do it is you start off, you're going to do 100% of the pursuing. Mm. She's not gonna pursue it all. Mm. You slow. You you keep. You maintain your once a week. Mm. She's gonna come up, and hers is gonna go to twice a week, three times a week, four times a week. To eventually, she's doing all the fucking. I wonder how many girls is this really like that? All right. You gotta be in your confident masculine uh, swag for her to value your validate validation. If you don't have that, she don't value your validation. So fuck your validation. All right. And when she's around you, you got to make her her mind and her pussy tingle, all right? If you can't do that, then fuck your validation, all right? So ain't nobody going to, ain't no, a woman is not going to chase your validation if it doesn't mean anything, all right? And a woman is, validation, understand this guy, man, like she's it's like, not obsessed with chasing you. Validation. She don't give a fuck about you. She's only obsessed Don't think about this too hard, you guys. Like, it, it's, it's really it weird, and it, it seems unnatural when you actually L, doing that all the shit that you're saying. Like, shit. Like, it has you got to internalize it. You know what I'm saying? That's how like, narcissistic women are. Just be conscious of it. Don't, don't take it word for word. Doing all this pursuing and chasing to chase your validation to ease her ego because she can't stand up a thought of a man that really, really want her. All right? And like I said, at the end... You gonna go the other way. You gonna you gonna pull back your interest all the way. You not gonna see her every week. Uh, you gonna you gonna cancel dates with her. You gonna lay in bed sometimes with her and not want to have sex with her, tell her you tired or something. That's gonna make her feel unattractive. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Essentially, this is you're tearing herself. You see this dude, man. Now. He done paid attention right. to so like many I things. Said, like, guys, like I wonder if he's laying with these package. girls and like, so like I said, he's doing this shit and he's just don't love them people over like, like baby. wanna have shit. So like I said, now. you know, you okay, know where to go if you're looking for a wife. Cause we don't love them hoes over here. We don't give a fuck about their self esteem. Fuck their self self esteem. All right. Like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, guys, these are evil tactics. If you're a nice beta man, male, this shit might not be for you, but for our alpha males over here, we don't love them old baby. Like, comment, subscribe, all about. See you guys, this is what started it all, oh, man. This is what started it, you guys. Like, this is where the internet blew up and stormed, you guys. Look at the views, man. Got a million views. A million views, guys. It's just crazy, Storm, man. man. Like, um he he's he's still he's still uh I you know Kevin Kevin Simmons goes by the Godfather because he's he's older, you know. I gotta give it to him. AMS is the uncle. AMS is definitely the uncle, you know what I'm saying? Like he he really sparked it though. He sparked this whole red pill shit. I heard of Kevin late much later, like two years after AMS, but um you guys I hope y'all enjoyed that man. I was it's really it's really interesting. Don't take it all word for word like he says, you guys. It's um and for the girls out here, please like we ask for open open minds out here this is actually good women should be actually happy about this because you're gonna start seeing more men i'm sure as a woman there's nothing worse than finding someone you truly like they look attractive they're 
ambitious as hell. They've, they're on a path for, for greatness, and but they're just game goofy, you know? It's just goofy. It's just shit just not hitting right. It's not adding right. And then what about the guy that you've, like, they just get you hot, but they just are not, like, ambitious or, you know? So this is good. This is good for my IT techs, my computer science degree people, my other people out there, you know, that uh, just had need a little more, a little boost that just wasn't blessed with good genes or, you know, something like that. So, this is just good for girls out there, you guys. You guys have an opportunity to enjoy much uh, a much broader life as opposed to just going dating and, and getting, you know, just, just having casual sex all the time. I mean, if that's what you want, you know, everyone has the choice to make the life that they want, you guys. But um, this is just good. This is just good stuff for men to, uh, you know, improve self-control you guys hope you enjoyed it man what you guys think about this is this something that stuff works have you guys tried this at all anyways check it out until next time you guys